hello everyone and welcome back to my channel in this video we are going to be doing my version of shrimp hibachi you're going to need some jasmine rice a yellow onion a zucchini and um, any kind of shrimp that you would need in the seasons that you prefer if you haven't seen my other video when i made shrimp alfredo i am preparing this shrimp the exact same way so if you haven't seen it go check it out i'll link it up above so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare the shrimp. I defrosted it in a bowl of water. Now I'm going to peel them, rinse them off, and I'm going to season them with obey and black pepper. I prepared the shrimp in the air fryer. It only takes eight minutes to cook, so I start that first. I highly suggest you guys get one of these. It cooks the food fast and it's a healthy alternative way to cooking. Next, I am going to be chopping up the onion and the zucchini. Next, I'm going to be preparing my jasmine rice. The measurements for that is one cup rice, one and a half cups water. It doesn't matter what kind of cup you use as long as the measurements stay the same. I wash my rice. Uh, I know a lot of people are probably looking at me like I am weird, but this is just what I do. I know a lot of people who do this. I know a lot of people who don't do this, but it's just my preference. So I'm gonna wash my rice and then I'm going to drain it and I'm going to add the water to cook the rice. You want to bring your rice and your water to a boil and then as soon as you see the boil i cut mine off just so it won't stick to the bottom but you can cut it on low and let it simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes and then it's just that simple now to prepare the vegetables i'm going to be using a cast iron frying pan i'm going to put about two tablespoons of olive oil inside i'm gonna let that heat up and then i'm gonna add my vegetables once i add my vegetables i'm going to season it with a black pepper garlic salt seasoning salt and cajun seasoning
again, once your rice boil, you want to cut it down or cut it off and cover it and let it simmer for about 10-15 minutes. After your vegetables are done, you want to go ahead and add your shrimp in and let that cook together for about 3 minutes. I found this in an international aisle in several grocery stores, so I'm pretty sure if you go to your local one, we um, they will have it. I put this stuff on just about anything, but I love it on hibachi. And this is the final result. It came out super good, super yummy, and again, there was no leftovers. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video.